Hello and welcome back to the next episode of The Sinking City. We are still here in the opening area and we need to head over to Coverside to investigate the headquarters, the expedition headquarters where Albert uh, and his father were working at trying to uncover the mysteries of all these um, these are some weird looking rats I'm just saying they're on stilts what the heck all the mysteries of all these um, hallucinations everybody's been having so hopefully this blockade that we had over here is unlocked now that we've found Albert's body. If you remember from the first episode, the police were blocking this off and Mr. Throgmorton said that we weren't allowed to leave until we solved his son's disappearance. So it does look like it is open, so let's go ahead and go through. That was crazy. Okay. Wow. That was a crazy hallucination? Dream? I'm not sure what that was. I don't know what exactly sank the USS Cyclops. I only remember the screams and the mental... The metal crack creaking, water filling the deck, and my headache, the worst I've ever had. I found myself amongst the floating seaweed, drowning, a nearby piece of the boat helped me survive, and reached the shore of a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half mad, and babbling about the ancient ruins and their denizens. The official said none of what I thought I'd seen was real, but my memories are true. My strange powers gained after that ordeal prove it. I found something horrible on that island, something old and dark and slithering, and it still haunts me. Ah, his diary. Okay. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis, brothers. Okay, well those, that was the picture from the suitcase in the very, very beginning. Oh, we have, uh, his dog tags. Never again, they say. What? All that we see or seem is just a dream within a dream. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, nice. Let's see if we can... Loot in there as well. Antipsychosis. Psychotics. Sorry, can't read this morning, apparently. Laudaman. Well, no wonder you're having hallucinations. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. Yeah, opium tends to do that. And we have a closet here. Oh, nice. We can change our clothes. Now, some of these are unlocked by story progress. This one, I believe, is because I bought the day one version of the game, which adds an outfit and, I believe, that little box of ammo and ingredients and stuff we picked up. Well, some of these... Oh, I like the Plague Doctor. 
Ooh, very Sherlock Holmes-esque. Holy bananas. That's a look. Yeah, Sunday Journalist. Let's try out. Let's try out the day wear. I kind of like that. All right. Well, takes our backpack off, but... Uh, yeah, I think old Charles is looking pretty sharp there. All right, well, let's figure out where we are. What do we have here? The number of attacks on the Innsmouth immigrants has increased. Raids are intensifying, and more and more Innsmouthers exposed to abuse and assault. Sometimes whole families are found dead in their houses. Police are on the case with several illegal Innsmouther businesses captured and their owners sent to jail. The city has, the city ought to have been cleaned of these fish-faced scum long ago," said Robert Throgmorton, head of the Throgmorton Grand family. "I only regret one thing: it all started too late. Had we not neglected our civic duties, my son Albert would still be here with us. I wonder if that would be different if we hadn't, if we had lied and not turned in. What was his name? Lewis." from the first one, but I kind of thought if we lied, maybe that would come back to haunt us in the end. Maybe neither one was a good choice. Mr. Reed, it seems that you overexerted yourself while conducting the investigation for Mr. Throgmorton. Forgive me for the audacity that I brought you to the Devil's Reef while you were unconscious. Please take more care of yourself in the future. I won't be there for you every time. Johannes. Oh, okay, the uh, the guy in the yellow suit. Got it. Well, it looks like we are ooh, in our hotel, and apparently we can just barge into people's rooms. Although that is a tiny room. Surely that's a closet, not a, a room room. All right, we can't go in that one. Oh, what do we have here? Makes this place feel more like home. I miss Boston already. Wow, they even put up a plaque for us. Well, I guess we will be here for a while then. Oh. What the heck? Look at the floor. Lots of occult voodoo hoodoo. What do we got? I boarded up the windows and locked the door. They are just men, the Yellow Kings gang. They can't get here now. Now there's only me, me and these nightmares. A little longer and I'll figure them out. The Yellow Kings gang. I wonder if they're referring to their clothing? And if they are, Johannes, I believe, was wearing a yellow outfit. Oh, what do we have? Mr. Archer, I've seen you dragging things into your room. Mind the floors. I'll make you pay for any scratches you leave. Your landlord. Whoa. Okay. That was a weird little freeze. And it doesn't appear we can go in any of those doors. Well, let's go upstairs first and see what's going on. See if there's any of these rooms we can go into. Not that one, but... Oh, I thought that was blood on the floor. It's just dirt. Oh. Well, I hope these people don't mind. We're just barging into their rooms. Oh. Oh, nice. Some alcohol and gunpowder. And what do we have here? So the lighthouse is out. Several ships have gotten lost at sea. And some are now decorating the city's beaches. That's one thing, but now there's an enterprising fellow at the city port hiring salvagers to recover ships. He's turning a tidy profit from selling them. Can't be a coincidence. You need to look into it. Now, if only the city wasn't so impossible to navigate. Hmm. Okay. Nice tub. Does need clean though. Nope, can't go in that room. And 
looks like we're done exploring up here. Oh, no, nope, one more. Oh my goodness, this landlord. Oh, jeez, what the heck? Huh. Interesting. Alright, well, it doesn't appear to be anything in here. So let's go downstairs and see if we can meet our landlord. And figure out where we're going to go today. We do need to make our way over to the expedition headquarters. Well, let's see what he has Finally, to say. you're awake. Gotta tell you, though, mister. You want to stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Uh... Who are you? Sorry, but who are you again? You bang your head or something. I'm Victor Olmstead. I own the place. This place. The Devil's Reef Hotel. I'm sorry, what noise? Noise? What, what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops. All right. But okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll I'll do my best. Yeah. Well, next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Are we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood. They're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting a kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. Okay. Oh. Gravy. Um, yeah, let me just unmark these. Looks like these are just the notes that we picked up. Ah, jeez, Louise. The hotel owner allowed me to look through the weird notes he found in the rooms of disappeared newcomers. Among them, I found several pages from the diary of a man describing his life in Oakmont. He suffered from visions and marked the places where they happened. Was he trying to avoid them? Today I fell asleep on the street. I'm sure it's connected to my visions somehow because I felt the same nausea and headache as before they strike. It happened in Coverside near the corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Road. I felt dizzy and my mouth was full of a bittersweet taste. I saw a woman with kind eyes giving me a drink and whispering something. Immediately after that I fell asleep and spent nearly half the day lying in the dirt like a hobo. It's a miracle no one stole anything from me. So let's see if we can place this on the map. Corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Roads. So we are, let me figure out where we're at. We're at the Clover side. We're here. So. Yep. There's Old Church Road. And there's Tanner Street there. So. There? Okay. Well, I will go back through and mark the other ones, but this is very close to where we're going to be going. We need to go to Hubert Ave and Asher Road, so right about there. We should be able to uh, get pl both places today, maybe? Because we have the police station and we also have the newspaper. Looks like if we go out and just 
like sail up that way we can probably hit the newspaper and then run over to the police department maybe all right well let us continue exploring in here see if there's anything else we can pick up doesn't appear to be in there yeah no I do like this little uh, thing that helps us find items. Oh, and there is a small crafting section. If I go to inventory, you can see that I can uh, I can craft bullets if we just hold them, and we'll craft a couple of those. I don't want to use everything up. And we are full on this, so we don't need any of that. And we also have a skills map that allows us to uh, move things or, you know, specialize in different things. So, as we level up, we'll be unlocking that. But for now, uh, I think that's everything back here, it looks like. So, I saw this. My dear Victor, how is Oakmont treating you? Should you require any support? The Blackwoods will be happy to help you. I have arranged for that. Regarding your question, I don't know where Robert went, sadly, only that he did not stay in Innsmouth. Perhaps there is hope he didn't perish in that cursed raid. Take good care of the hotel, please. Plenty of our relatives were interested in that property, but you're still my favorite nephew. I know the Devil's Reef is in good hands. Aunt Portia. Yeah, he really needs to do some work on his rooms up there. I'm just saying, though. Anything else back here that we can look at? Uh, doesn't look like it. What's that? No, apparently nothing. Okay. Anything on the table? Yes, there is. Darren, I think I'm finally starting to figure this out. Locals use signs to mark special places that you know already. Kind of like the secret signs hobos use all over the country. What I learned is that the tradition dates back to times well before the flood. I've been able to find out the meaning of some of them. You've seen the crooked H-shaped signs on doors around town. That means that the house is inhabited. The crosshatch grid sign marks hidden caches of useful items the v-shape is for barricaded dangerous places good catch there they say still haven't figured out the spiral shape sign though you'll have to investigate for yourself and if you see a sign with a cross and three k's reach for the gun k huh oh my gravy what the heck kind of chandelier is that Holy bubbly. Well, quite interesting. This world is uh, different to say the least. Alright, I don't see anything back here. So let's go outside and figure out which way we are going to go. Alright, we found a fast travel spot, which must be this phone book. Or phone booth, I'm sorry. Yeah. So it looks like if we can hop our boat and maybe just go right there, we can walk over to that way. Oh, boat driving. I'm sure this will go well, yeah. So let me figure out which way the boat was. Not that way. We need to go that way. Let me just take a quick look around, see if we see anything doesn't appear to be other than the door to the Devil's Reef Hotel. Okay. Alright. Well, let's uh, see how this goes. Oh, jeez. Yeah, half the city is indeed underwater. Uh, can we get over there? Don't have to go very far. All right, how do I get out? Ah, there we go. 
Nice. We didn't even get our feet wet. So I said if we go up this way and then head this way. Yeah. We'll find the newspaper. Ooh, what's this? Can we go in? No, we cannot. This is quite strange. I like the atmosphere they've created. That guy's sick over there. Dude, you gonna make it? Probably shouldn't drink so much. And that's the Oakmont Chronicle. So this must be where we get to go in. Yes, it is. Nice. The old Whoa. papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? Uh, what's that got to do with it? Help me out here. What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street, and, and they come to collect the old newspapers from uh. me. Yeah, I only got here recently. Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers. Uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. Um, well, you know, no time like the present. I've got some time for your interview. Do you still want that interview? I, uh, I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case, but... Tell our reader something more about yourself. Uh, let's say that you're, I'm an investigator from Boston. I'm a private eye in Boston. The situation in the port was a good use of my skills. Well, uh, Detective Reed, I, I think you'll find our city has a lot of secrets, uh, but people may not like you poking your nose in. No, uh, they don't. Maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? Uh, sure. I'm looking for the source of the visions. Currently, I'm tracking down the source of the psychic phenomenon that's been causing madness and visions all across the country. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it affected people here, but we were much more concerned with the flood. Though Robert Throgmorton sent an expedition. Yeah, and then hired me to find it. Ironic, don't you think? I think that's enough for now. I can't give the readers too much all at once. Thank you for your interview, Mr. Reed. My pleasure. And maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. You never know. <laughs> See you later. Okay, well, we didn't earn an achievement called Extra Extra. Interesting. Oh, so this must be where we can come and investigate. So we need three search criteria. Hmm. Yeah, well, we don't have anything else just messing around with it, but interesting nonetheless. Okay, do we have anything we can pick up here? Doesn't look like it. Well, they got a lot of newspapers just hanging around. Any 
anything upstairs? Oh, there are other people here. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. That's strange. Well, at least this place is a little bit more kept than the place we're living at. Uh, doesn't appear to be anything here. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Empty room. And looks like we have another floor we can check out. Oh, this is where all the printing presses are. Uh, anything up here? It doesn't appear to be. Although, dang. Oh, yep, there we go. Nice. Although, I do believe we have a limit of what we can carry. So, we'll have to be mindful of what we pick up and make sure we craft as we need it. Let's see if we can just drop through there. There we go. Bit of a <laughs> I think we disturbed her taking a coffee break. Alright, let's get out of this crazy place make our way over to where we're supposed to go. Oh, we found the indoor outhouse. Uh, front door. Ah, there we go. Front door. So, let me double check our map here. Looks like if we just go straight and then make a right at the next corner, we'll be headed towards the police station. Okay, let's probably pick a boat up down there if we needed to. Go this way. Yeah, I just want to be careful we don't end up stumbling into an area we really shouldn't be at yet. Let me check our map. Looks like the next street up. Is there anything over here that. An infested area. Infested with what? Whoa. Alright. Interesting. Well, let's. That, yeah, that music does not sound very good, so I think we will stay away from there for right now. Hopefully we get a shotgun or something a little bit stronger than our uh, little gun we've got. Although, hopefully the little gun will... What's wrong with you, dude? Help us out. I have figured out how to pull the gun up. I was playing around with buttons and, as always, went for the bats button. Good old and reliable. And uh, found how we use our guns, so. Alright, well, we can't get in there. Oh, wow, this music is creepy. Oh. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't think that's where we really want to go, is it? No, so like right in there. I'm not quite sure what they're... 
has to do here. But it's, uh, oh, oh, yeah, nope, 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 big nope, big nope, big nope, big nope on that one. Was that a vision or was that a real monster? Nope. That's a real monster. No, 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 nope, 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 big nope, big, big, big. Big, big nope. We are all good. Let's figure out where the PlayStation is and switch our casebook to, let me see. Lost at sea. There we go. What about our casebook? Oh, just those, okay. Yeah. So I've already placed that on the map over there. So let's kind of head in that direction. Do let me do check the map. Okay, straight back down this way it looks like and we should find the police station. Right? Yeah. Back up here. What the heck? And I can't talk to you. What the heck? People just getting murdered right outside of a police station. I don't know about this, guys. This is crazy as all get out. Uh, sorry, I gotta keep checking the map, although we are... Alright, well, I guess we can head over towards the headquarters instead of the police station. I can figure out which building. It must be this one here. Yes, it is. Nice. We found it. Oh, well, they've got diving equipment everywhere. What in the world? Guess I don't need the key. So did somebody come in here and wreck the place? Divers with the bins can suffer from numerous symptoms including pain, impaired movement, nausea, vomiting, and disorientation. Acute symptoms can occur within 10 minutes of surfacing include paralysis, numbness, blindness, deafness, dizziness, seizures, confusion, or words coming out all weird. The paralysis and numbness can involve several different parts of the body at the same time. Okay. Someone smashed it beyond repair. Interesting walk. Alright, well, what else do we have here? It is a little weird with the kind of stuttering every once in a while, and that's on the game, not... Uh, I don't know if it's like trying to load. It's about the only thing I've really noticed so far that's a little wonky. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Uh, so we're following the birds? Ah, there we go. Oh wow, we just walked through a wall. Uh, 
The following must be Grimhaven Bay, no later than Friday. MKV Diving Suit 6, Air Tanks and Pumps, Canned Food, Personal Belongings, Research Equipment, Air Pipes, Phone Stations and Wires, Generator Power, Responsible for Something, Partially Burned Cargo Manifest. Do I need to still be in this because we are hearing some weird funky stuff? Ah, ah, what's that? No, 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 it, it's no, no bueno. Oh, shoot, reload. was not prepared for that. What the heck? Who are you, dude? Get gravy. Uh, guess this helmet's beyond repair. Okay. Well, let's craft up some bullets after that. go and we're full on that one all right well geez louise i wasn't expecting that guy to be shooting at us what the heck well, i wonder if that's the guy that burnt the manifest or broke in here what is wrong with the dude's head Doesn't even look like he's got a face anymore. Can we? We cannot. All right. Well, it looks like we've found everything down here. All right. Let's go back upstairs and see if there's anything else we need to find. Oh. Wait a minute. Let's go up before we go into the little dreamy bob thing. Really weird. Whoa. According to our data, the place with paranormal activity the places with paranormal activity have a strong, previously unidentified influence on the human mind. We have prepared a list of solutions including meditative practices and a supply of sedatives to prevent cases of madness among the expedition members. I highly recommend discarding all those charms, amulets, and religious symbols which are of no use and applying these scientifically valid methods of protection instead. Can't say I ever saw another shell like it. Oh, very strange. Okay, well, we don't want to go. Oh, what's that? Oh, scissors. I thought it was an X on the thing. Anything else up here? L. Sullivan and B. Morgan, local fishermen, report numerous large bubble, bubbles and unbearable stench rising from the bottom of the sea. Brought a sample of a weird substance floating in the ocean from J. Harway. He claims he found it among numerous dead and strangely deformed fish. The fish were taken for analysis. Several locals mention a rock that rose from the seabed making the fog shine in different colors the witness felt sick and dizzy for the witnesses felt sick or dizzy for two or three days after the incident 
L.P. Stern got several burns after chiseling off a part of the rock in his basement. Samples taken for analysis. Interesting. Oh, there we go. These samples glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. Huh. The Oakmont University Department of Anthropology welcomes the newest addition to its rank, Professor Harriet Doug, or Doe. Her brilliant discoveries about the origin of Inuit tribes have added a new page to the history books of humanity. Now Professor Doe will embark on a new expedition to hopefully shed light on the source of the flood, and in doing so, shed light on what may yet be to come. Hmm. I wonder if she is still alive and if we will meet her. Alright, well, it looks like it wants us to go downstairs and do the hoodoo voodoo mind stuffies. So, we've got... Drop the papers. Smash the rest. Okay. I fatah me a fe a I dig on. at all. Make sure you get the adverts. Hmm. Well. Oh, wait, we have one over here, too. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Time to figure this out. Okay, so I think that's number one. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Try. Drop the papers. Smash the rest. Two. Let's try it like this. And then do this one as number four. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several oh. men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. Okay, so we collected some evidence. Let's check our mind here. Oh, let me get those off, or they'll drive me crazy. And it's still going to do it. Uh, okay, so that's just the evidence we found. Alright, so the cargo manifest and the burn documents has to be linked, right? The expedition archive is lost, but I still have clues to follow up on. They left the city on a freighter from Grimhaven Bay. There might be recent postings or ads about the freighter in the Oakmont Chronicle. Okay, so... Looks like we're going to have to head back to the Oakmont Chronicle. I think we have gotten everything from here that we possibly can. So we'll head back out. And in the next episode, we will head over to the police station and over to the newspaper. So for now, thank you for joining me. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope I see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.